So now we are going to discuss about unit clear purging and point in this lesson. So especially in unit clear, we are going to discuss about uh, you know what are the major part of equipments. That major part of an equipment mainly we are going to use boiler and furnace as well as axillary we are going to discuss about pump then specialized portion of an plant like steam purging precaution area the fourth place is about chemical injection point so these four places while I am going to do unit, unit clear so what are the special attention we have to give ok so it may be indicated in unit clear area it's followed by purging purging we have several part of purging okay out of this we are going to discuss just three kind of purging one is steam purging second one is inert gas purging third one is natural gas or fuel gas purging steam purging what type of places where what are the types of process are hazardous accumulation so there we are going to use steam purging and what are the special significance behind that we are going to discuss in this lesson followed by inert gas purging inert gas mainly they are using inside the company we have different kind of inert gas such as nitrogen co2 helium and argon so in that various kind of inert gas mainly our discussion is related to inert gas purging in that nitrogen gas purging it has three subclasses what are those like pressure purging sweep purging and vacuum purging okay the third one is natural gas or fuel gas purging so what places what are the special significance behind that the last portion of this unit is related to blind okay what are the types of blind we are going to use in this slide okay in this unit sorry the next slide so here this slide is mainly discussed about so what are the area supposed to be how to give a special attention why we are doing clear means unit clear so what are the part of an equipment they have you know what are the plant of an equipment they have shown here such as pump as an axillary the second one is boiler or furnace the third one is steam purging precautions the fourth point is process chemical injection point so over there I have to give a special attention okay so while we are going to deal with the pump we are going to discuss about centrifugal pump so in centrifugal pump what are the things we have to make sure while we are going to do unit clear so this slide is discussed about the pump pump seals may be damaged during the product pump out if the pumps are allowed to you know running as an empty man or you can say like running dry so the seal may be damaged while if you are running a product pump without suction side fluid the second point it's important to shut down mechanical seal pump before the liquid level goes down inside you know in a bottom of the column okay if the bottom of the level the bottom of a tank goes down means it's depleted automatically it affect with the you know the suction side it damage you know like impala then the seal it leads you know break down to the pump the pumps may have to be restarted for liquid on tower trays tower trays drain down in order to pump out the majority of the hydrocarbon from the tower draft tray and the tower bottom for example you have a distillation column we just assume we are just pump out the bottommost part of the distillation column okay in a mechanical seal pump we cannot you know allow the pump okay to run till the bottommost part of the column is empty then we are keeping some amount of the liquid for the safe side to safeguard the suction okay same time you have to make sure that the all the tray you know liquid should reach the bottom of the column if it is not reaching okay we have an accumulation inside the column so means we are not cleared 100 percentage 
so we have to allow okay that tray liquid should reach the bottom of the column once it reach we have to restart the pump this is what they are explaining in point number 3 after all the available liquid has been pumped out through the product pump okay we have to make sure that battery limit wall as well as product run down block wall should be closed otherwise the back pressure should be taking place inside the pump okay let's go to the next slide it's related to that boiler and furnace you all are aware for example you know fired oil like for a heating oil we are using a boiler like sorry furnace as well as in cdu unit after the heat exchanger they are using a furnace you got the point they are using a furnace so this furnace is used to increase the temperature of the crude oil in a cdu plant same kind of uh, like pro operation in your rfcc to increase the temperature of the residue of edu you got the point as well same kind of you know like heating operation will be there in your dc delayed cooking unit so what are the important part of a you know like a furnace furnace is belongs to mechanical engineering a human but as a process engineer we must and should have an idea about the furnace what are those you all are aware furnace it's look like you know like a cone type at the top of a furnace the bottom most is a bottom part it's like a tank you know that the cone type in adi you know it has a special significance you know that why because it's a venturi design you know that the furnace inside the pressure the flame area they are maintaining negative pressure but outside is atmospheric pressure by logic you all are aware the atmospheric air will enter from outside to inside the furnace but in the operation we all are aware the flames or the fuel you know the fu the, the smokes it passes through the damper how by you know the due to the venturi design the second parameter is that you know sometimes they are using external blower to pump this you know smoke out or else you can say due to the density difference that is what we are calling like natural con convection phenomena if it is forced convection we know that they are using some external equipment like pump or blower sorry fan or blows you got the point so we are going to use like the design of a furnace is very very important maybe you can you know think for your future kind of interview places you can able to uh, put this stuff inside you know what is the operation principle inside the furnace you got the point so here what are the line i can cut out you all are aware you have a master fuel line okay for individual burner you just assume you have tall burner you got the point as well as individual flame yani burner it has a, a specific wall you know the fuel wall the additional line you have the fire pilot the separate fire pilot to ignite the burner you got the point okay so the damper is there at the top it will open and close according to the smoke yani the density available inside the flammable area okay what are, how can i do the unit clear for the boiler or furnace furnace and boiler fuel line initially for the fuel line must be blinded after fuel is shut off okay for protection against firebox explosion what are the things we have to you know close the thing is that the monster fuel wall must be closed the second point all remaining burner block valves means fire pilot should be isolated you got the point to prevent any kind of leakage of a fuel trap inside to the burner headers in addition to that you know that like inside the coil they are supplying the cooling agent well while they are going for a unit shutdown they are not you know closing the line means like any master fuel line or any individual burner line suddenly they are doing gradual manner why because if you are doing sudden reduction it may create thermal shock and it gives thermal stress to the equipment even it may damage the equipment you all are aware the fire bricks you know like uh, the furnace walls are very very you know 
say you know like uh, is for is for long term purpose we cannot replace may sometimes you can find particular place of the furnace it may be damaged they are not changing the total furnace wall you may la you all are away okay so while you are doing unit clear with the furnace as well as in boiler so we have to be clear in this place you can remember like master fuel wall should be closed furner furnace you know like furnace for you know like pilot burner should be closed as well as you know we have to reduce the feed line as well as you know like uh, flow like like we are putting a coolant inside the coil based on that we are reducing the pressure in gradual manner not sudden degree manner. let's go to the next slide steam purging precaution what is that steam purging precaution while i am going to do the steam purging so we have you know we have several parameter to consider what are those while i am going for steam purging we have to make sure that there is no trapping material you know while i am going to use a steam that particular process material if it is vaporized because of the steam then it may create you know in unstable environment inside the equipment for example if you are using a water cooled exchanger okay so inside the tube you have a water you have in drained fully you have some amount of water inside the tube so those case what will happen so while you are doing steam purging inside the tube this water will evaporate with the steam and it may create thermal shock means you know hammering kind of stuff so those time it, it you know it leads unrest to the unrest to an equipment automatically it may cause the damage to an equipment so we have to be very very careful while we are doing steam purging we have to clear okay 100 percentage the process fluid okay or the operational fluid or the coolant fluid inside the tube or cell side of the heat exchanger the second point all the water should be drained from each such a heat exchanger as well as when should be opened you all are aware before purging some equipment may be damaged during steam purging so we have to isolate what are the two what are the places such as a such as a instrumentation turbine meter pump we have to isolate from the steam purging area other areas such as you know salt beds catalyst bed molecular sieve vessel these areas must be damaged during the, sorry damaged by steam okay during steam purging as well as condensing okay the last point related to unit clear okay what is that last one unit clear the the fourth important place is that process chemical injection point you can find inside the diagram you have a gas flow okay as well as you have anti scalant injection okay demulsifier injection for the desalting operation you all are aware in our cdu plant okay they have a blind then the gas is flowing gas water is flowing okay from the well head they are supplying so they are putting anti scalant injection to avoid the scale formation inside the pipeline you all are aware so what will happen while we are we are shutting the you know like we are closing the well due to some you know unwanted problem as well as in the company we are just closing you know due to the desalter problem we are just stopping the you know pipeline so we have we are you know we have to clear the steam in yani the chemical injection point not steam sorry the chemical injection point like demulsifier or coil sir sometimes anti scaling agent so we are just draining that place we have to drain 100% why because those anti scalant or chemical injection point chemicals are very very expensive sometimes if you are releasing to the atmosphere it may cause even the dangerous zone to the environment this dangerous things okay will cause an accident so while we are doing unit clear we have to be we have to be very very careful okay so based on that we can avoid any kind of accident okay so that is what they are putting continued injection of process treatment chemicals sometimes additives into an equipment that has been shut down not only waste because it's a valuable chemicals 
so it's is you know is a hazardous in nature while they are doing draining they have to follow proper ppe sometimes it may leads flammable and hazardous unexpected you know situation so be thorough in preparation and inspection before turning the equipment over to repair so these are the places mainly you know we have to be careful while we are going to do unit clear you know these are the four places we have to give a special attention this is what is discussed about this slide you got the point i hope everyone is understand 